and Peter Overton from Channel 9 News, 6 o'clock news. Check him out every night. Is in the building. Good to see you face to face, Peter. Hi, Peter. Great to see you both as well. What a treat. Yeah. Oh, it is so good. We love having you or Jess in. You're yeah. both a beautiful couple and you've got beautiful girls uh, who go to the same school as my daughter. And you know, I was telling Kyle that, mm. Peter, you. <coughs> oh, oh, no. oh, she's down in COVID hotspot, Peter. <laughs> don't worry. Peter just started looking for a mask, but she's yeah. on Zoom, so don't worry. We can't get her. What I was saying uh, to Kyle is that you volunteer a lot for things at the school and uh, he's down there during car line every morning, Kyle. Yeah. And he's directing traffic and making sure it all runs really smoothly. And Hang on. Like you, Peter's- hang, I'm sorry, you're directing traffic? Well, I'm a car line marshal every now and then, Kyle, so I... Uh, car I, line yeah, marshal? Yeah, What's pink, that? Well, you put the pink high-vis vest on, which is usually a little too tight, <laughs> so you look more like, I suppose, a... Walnut and a condom, but anyway, it's a little bumpy. But uh, I, I get all I, you to get the kids out safely out of the cars, and you direct what? them into the school. You're a famous celebrity. Why are you doing a common person's job? Well, I think we've got to do those sort of things for your children, Kyle. And you know, I, I, I actually enjoy it. You enjoy it. You so enjoy you're out it. on the street. This is your cop fantasy, isn't it? Well, it's like directing it traffic, and and the people people would recognise who you are, or have you of got course. some dumb hat or a mask on, or what are you doing? No, everyone knows this, Peter. It's yeah. the talk of the school that Is he it? always does so much, and how everyone loves Peter. Oh, but I God, how you, Jessica, because you're at work doing the early hours work, and then when Jessica's rostered on to do Carline marshalling, who who fills in for her? You do. I do. You so, do. So, yeah. oh, so she slips She slips yeah. and she wags yeah. Caroline Marshall. Yeah. Oh, mate, it's your turn. And I go, no, it's your turn. And she says, no. Hang on. You so this, you're and, doing and, this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. No, no, no. No, in the morning. he's doing it oh, in the morning. Oh, you're in the a.m. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So okay. do you see my daughter, March, Kitty, yes, when you're absolutely. doing it? Yes, absolutely. I'll get her out of the car and say good morning and wish her well <gasps> for the day. Oh, uh, wow. Is she polite? Is she polite? Absolutely beautiful. Is oh, she? she is a d- divine you. child. Yeah, no, it's yeah. lovely. It's a real, it's a good job. Is, are some children like whatever? Are they like that to you? <laughs> well, like, when you're like, oh, have a good morning. Like, yeah, whatever, oh this, man. Yeah, blank yeah, nothing, face, yeah. nothing. <laughs> okay, well, have a great day. Oh, what a nice man yeah. you are. Oh, well, it's good fun. Well, come, why don't you bring the roller down one day and give everyone a surprise? No. Just swing down into the. Oh God, I couldn't <laughs> oh, stand that. No, I've Peter, sometimes no. been caught. I've sometimes been caught in the back streets of Rose Bay. I'll turn a street somewhere, and everyone's lined up as if they're they're giving yes. out free money somewhere, <laughs> and they've all no. got their indicators on. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, what is this? And then I realise, oh, everyone's just stopped. So I roar up the wrong side of the road. And then I realised, oh, this is a primary school. Mm. And there's lights flashing, lollipop, man, yeah. it's probably you, yeah. you're probably there. <laughs> you're eight I'm on the wrong side of the, over the speed limit. <laughs> oh, I must go and trawl a bit of CCTV from around there. <laughs> yes, Peter, <laughs> yes. We don't want any riffraff hanging around the school area, do we? Now, what would you do, like, are you got to keep an eye, are you just directing mums, or do you keep an eye out for dirty old men in vans? Uh, have you got your eye out for <laughs> no, that? that is not part of the brief. Right. Um, it is purely and simply opening the car door oh, and get right. it, making sure the kids get out wow. safely. Okay. Just think, where does your mind go I sometimes? wonder. <laughs> I, I think schools and I think, well, what, is, what is everyone doing there and who protects the children? Me. You. Oh, I love yes, that. Yes, it's Peter. And <laughs> how lucky that. are the kids? They get Peter Overton looking after them first thing in the morning, That's making good. sure that they're safe and they're inside the school. You should be asking them questions from last night's news. Yes. Well, I should. Well, it's usually the, the mums and the grandmums that say they like their t- the tie I wore the night oh, before. Oh, do they? Yes. Oh, do you really? Get, do you get hit on by, uh, yeah. by grannies and mums and stuff like that? Because you're a very desirable man. Kyle, um, what happens usually is a lovely young woman will come up to me and say, could I have a photo? And I think, of course you can. My great-grandmother loves you. Oh, <laughs> why well, the grandmother or the great-grandmother who loves me? Why can't you love me? The great-grandmother. <laughs> I love that. But no, it's, it, we, look, I think for all of us, when people come up and say we love listening to you on, yes. on Kiss or we love watching you on the news, it means a lot because it's our viewers, it's yeah. your listeners. I agree. It keeps people in jobs because we do, you know, we're doing well. We know we've got an audience. Ha- people have a choice yeah. to listen to you, to watch yeah. me. So yeah. Thank God yeah. they're making the right choices based on the ratings. I think, oh, well, they're making the right choice out there. People are smarter than we think. Well, we've just done a decade at the top. Um, a at, decade? Not, wow. Ten years yeah. at the top. Yeah, so that, was, that came across a couple of weeks ago. So we're thrilled for that because before you got that job you. the six o'clock that's the big that's the big job everyone wants right and the news if you're a journo you want to be reading the six o'clock news that's the best it can be well 
Oh, it was something I always uh, sort of look forward to doing one yeah. day, I hope to do. I had 60 Minutes for nearly a decade, and then this uh, happened, and I grew up watching Brian Henderson. Remember when you were rubbished by Tom Cruise? Oh, <laughs> oh that's right. Peter, what did he say? Peter, put your manners back in. Put Remember your that? manners back yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Cross the line. Yes, that what was... were you thinking then? When you're being rubbished on camera by Tom mm. Cruise, you got all your own cameramen there, and you're mm. being roused on mm. by little Tom. What, what did you think? Were you, were you thinking... Oh, because sort of, you were sort of friendly with him and you, yeah. know, you run in those fancy circles, but you were getting in trouble, but you, you were supposed to be the big journalist. Yeah, you had to put your big boy pants on. Are you thinking to yourself, how do I look like respectful, but also still in charge of the interview? I just maintained who I am and I didn't rouse or get angry. He did that. Yes, yeah. and he I did. Just, I just kept... True to myself, yeah. and said they're a fair, it's a fair question. It was a Tom, fair. And what was the what was I can't the question? The question. <laughs> it was very fair though. Whatever well, it, was it was about, fair. it was about Nicole, I right? Think it he and Nicole. Was. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah. Look, I hold no ill will towards Tom. It was one of those moments. But I know when I said when I came off air, we're in Steven Spielberg's compound at Universal Studios. <laughs> oh. I just interviewed Tom. And uh, we finished, and I said to him, well, that was an interesting interview, and whatever, we said our goodbyes. And I sat there thinking, what the hell just happened to me? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I said to the producer, well, how did that go? And I'll never forget him, he said, top five. Top, top five. five. <laughs> and all he's thinking of 60 Minutes stories, he's thinking of the promos. He's yes, thinking of the promos, as well, we do. Yeah. yeah. No, when we did our 60 Minutes story with Carl, they they said the same thing. They go, oh, no, that's going to be great for the promo. They're promo obsessed. Of course. Because that's what brings in the, the viewers, obviously. You need 60 a good promo. Minutes has become very... Like, I haven't watched 60 Minutes for years before I was on it, obviously. Now I'm watching it every week. Good. And I'm not yeah. on it every week. Usually I only watch what I'm on. I'm I'm that sort of guy. But it's, it's hard now for them because they can't travel, and that's even domestically. So all the big interviews that we used to go to every corner of the globe, now oh. it's all done via Zoom, basically. Yeah. Oh, so I think they're doing an enormously times. good job in terms of challenging times. Now, when and, you... And, sorry, Jackie, go on. Yeah, no, I was going to say, as a newsreader, you've been reading many news stories over the years. How do you feel about... Are you over COVID? Are you sick of talking about COVID? Or do you find the whole thing quite fascinating, what's happening with our world? Well, fascinating and disturbing and hopeful mm. that, that, that they do. One night we can say that, look, life is going to return to normal oh. because we have found a vaccine. Uh, hang on, I said that yesterday because Vladimir came out and said that he's found it. Done and dusted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Over. That. What's next in What's news next? is what I want to yes. know. Good yeah. evening. <laughs> COVID sorted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Carl, Carl's pranged his Rose Bay. He's a uh, Rolls Royce in Rose Bay. Here's the CCTV. But it's, um, oh, look, it's been fascinating. We've been doing bulletins at nine and ten at night where we've just had huge numbers in terms of ratings because of that certainly in the early days the hunger for information because oh, it was, oh, yeah. no, none of us knew no, and no. we're doing 14 interviews a night and literally humans I interviewed last Sunday night at, uh, in the 10 o'clock news an emergency doctor from Melbourne my goodness me what an exceptional man really and just the pressure they're under I said have you ever had to make a decision where no this ventilator is going to A instead of B because A's got a better chance oh. he said no but I dread having to do that have you had oh. to tell people that they've lost their loved ones he said I have but you can't go and hug them and talk to them and be compassionate because you're doing it over a telephone or through a wall of a right. hotel ward uh, of a hospital ward really exceptional human beings they are our health workers and yeah. I it, it, we need to tell the human side of it as much as the this is what's happening this is it, is, yeah. it is true and there's a lot of great medical geniuses out there especially in this country and do you think it's really strange that someone like me, with no education whatsoever, still gets paid more than a brain surgeon? Isn't it interesting that the media and, you know, but mm. you're such a talent in your own right, I Kyle, know, so Peter. Don't go on and on about worth it. You're every cent. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm Just I trying know. to get in the promo, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, uh, this is a, it's a great opportunity to have you in here because... As I said, our news guy like he's pretty good. Did you get a certificate? You went to TAFE for something, Brooklyn, didn't you? I went to uni for a year. And one you dropped year, out. Yeah, and then I got some work after that. So what drop out. What course you were you doing it. at uni? Journalism. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. He dropped out of journalism. After a year. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Too hard for him. He thought. <laughs> My course coordinator, when I said, oh, I've got offered this job or should I stay at uni, he said, oh, no, take the job. People what job finish was the it? degree and still don't get what jobs. What was the job you were offered? I was in Bega down on the south coast oh. doing their radio news down there. And now, look, you're at top of the pops. That's right. Yeah. You're with Al the, the Alan got a hold of him first. Right. Remember he went Did over and he was reading sport for Alan. 
Didn't last long. That didn't work out too well because Alan started asking questions. <laughs> and then Alan had to answer I'm his own the, questions because uh, Brooklyn uh, didn't know the answer. I'm not the biggest sport lover, Peter. Yeah. Well, you're doing a fine job and I, I get most distressed on your behalf when... You're an- analysed by the great man uh, sitting yeah. over here behind oh, yeah. the microphone. If you can survive, Kyle. You I'm also analysing you. I'm asking you questions at home. It'd be great if I could have a live phone to your news desk. <laughs> that would that would. Or I could ring day, up and go, yeah. Peter, what's all... The, oh, forget about this. I want to know more about that. Good evening. Here's what's bad about your day. Sorry, Kyle's on the phone. Yes, mate. Yep. Oh, yes. That, yes, the CCTV's in break four, mate, tonight. Yeah. Oh. And how, this is what I want to know. If you're flicking around between news channels... Yep. It seems like you guys and the other news stations have all sort of coordinated what stories you're going to roll out. You're all rolling similar stories in at order. the same time. How does that work? Well, I think everyone's got a very strong news sense and you know what, what is what the, the order of the day. Is, and right. really, some days you go, God, there are five leads here. There are five stories that could lead the news and the, your opposition might lead with one of those and we lead with something else. It right. happened the other night. But it's like you guys, I'm sure, in FM radio, if you analysed all your competitors, they'd we be We don't listen. We have course. no idea what they're doing. <laughs> but you would, you know, I would imagine you'd be talking about similar things every now and then then yeah well maybe oh, that does happen peter yeah, does that happen no, no. we don't is anyone listening to the other shows not really but i can't imagine anyone else talking to the purse guy or anything like no, that no who though. else is talking to the purse <laughs> guy or the garnayan preacher that's what right. a that's magical right. magical <laughs> performance <laughs> it was passion. quite intense wasn't oh. it and what, what else did was oh that There's was gino a, jennings as well oh, uh, yes. he's uh, from philadelphia it was yeah. very very good i remember what's coming up next cheeses that's right. Yeah, the oh, list the bring list. up the cheese Remember that list. scene in Kath and Kim where she set up for my yes. birthday cake, I want, and my wedding cake, I want a, a baby Jesus. <laughs> a and so they got all the baby, baby Jesus. Jesus. That's all those right. little red, uh, red the plastic baby bells. Yeah. <laughs> the best. Ah, baby bells. God, I laughed so much at that. That was so funny. Well, Peter, best show. It's always good to have you on. It's good to see because you're just re- you're very professional on there. But every now and then it'd be great to see you crack a joke or something like that. You don't do crack, you don't do jokes. Oh, I do the odd da- the dad joke with Cameron. Oh, is that the yeah, sports yeah. guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turn off when it comes to sport. I don't. I think if you know, if you like sport, you already know. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think too much sport. Well, maybe when I throw to Cameron, I can say. Carl, please stay. Please stay. <laughs> I love that. I dare please, you one mate. night. Oh, oh yeah. The, yeah, the dare. Hey, hey, is there any chatter over at uh, Channel 9 now that the great Tim Bailey has been let go at Channel 10? Has anyone said we need to get it? He's the best weatherman in the, in the business. Well, I think everyone said how sad it is. It is it's sad. Really, he worked with Jessica for a long time when yeah. Jessica um, co-hosted the 10 News. That's right. There were those oh, rumours. Yes. He's too. a legend. And you know what? You think of TV stations, you think of Channel 9, you think of Brian Henderson, you yes. think of Channel 10, you think of Tim Bailey or Sandra yes, Sully or right. Natasha Belling. Yes. Um, yeah. Unbelievable. Are, and you think of you guys here. It's crazy. But decisions are made. I think he's a huge loss and people are very loyal to... On-air people. That's right. And uh, mm. I well, remember when we were working at the other joint and then we left and everyone was like, oh, they won't get their listeners. And they all came, everyone, and more. Absolutely. I can mm. see the buses are all out the front. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's still oh. left over from the Mary thing. Oh, right, okay. Some people out there still, some <laughs> placards and stuff. Some protesters, yeah. Anyway, by the way, I was keeping an eye on you during that too. From now on, if oh. there's any scandals, right? I expect you to, to go to the auto queue guy and say, "Yeah, mate, we have to reject all that stuff about Sandalands." <laughs> that's that's. Uh, I usually enhance it. Not do you? <laughs> <laughs> Peter Overton, they're celebrating ten years over there at Channel Nine at the top of their game. Weeknight, six o'clock, nine news. I'm what I'm always watching. Yeah, you're a, good you're man. a great so you know. man, Peter. Oh, I love you both. One Thank of the you. greatest. Yeah, you too. Thank you. And Send our love to me. Jess as well. Yeah. Hope she, hopefully, she was doing the school run this morning, but when I'm away, it's usually very late. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. It's always one parent that's Kids late, right? Kids are showing up just in time for little lunch. <laughs> yes, or pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter Overton, this morning. You. A kiss.